Welcome back. Nowadays, data collected on people is called data mining. It's kind of like mining for gold. Now, companies are getting more and more sophisticated as they monitor your movements and track what you buy and how you buy it and why you buy it. Dikenda McGehee takes a look. From airports to freeways, even pedestrian walkways, just about everywhere we travel, someone, or rather something, is watching. There are, of course, a lot of surveillance cameras around. They're getting smaller and smaller, so you can't see. For example, in London, where practically every square public inch of the city is covered by multiple surveillance cameras, if you're in London, you're being watched. There is no question about it. These days, even a simple swipe of the card, switch of the ignition, or drive by a Wi-Fi hotspot is all it takes to leave a detailed digital trail. Even your own car may be tracking your speed, engine performance, brake application, and seatbelt use, as many newer models now contain pre-crash data recorders, similar to an airplane's black box. So in many states, insurance companies can access this information without your consent. Law enforcement can access this information without first obtaining a warrant. How much this day and age are we being watched? A tremendous amount. Uh, we're being followed by many, many entities. Social media entities like mm -hmm. Facebook and Twitter and internet service providers like Google are getting intimately acquainted with you, where you live and work, how you shop, what you buy. When we carry electronic devices and use electronic devices with us, we are leaving a trail everywhere we go. So they're gathering that information, thus know more and more and more about us. And beware of those Wi-Fi hotspots, says Rayer. Experts say there's a price to pay for free internet access. And that price could be your privacy. If you've ever downloaded a retailer's app or provided an email address for a store receipt, chances are that retailer can use store sensors to connect to your smartphone, track your movements, preferences, and purchases, and improve their sales. Companies are going to put more sensors around in stores. More data will be gathered. More of the data will be stolen. It's going to be very, very hard to keep anything about your life private. And therein lies the problem, says Rayer. How do we maintain our privacy in an increasingly public world? Yekenda McGahee, CCTV, Los Angeles.